when I started out here after the New York years, I think all of us who were in television films at that time were, if you want to categorize us, we were all actors, directors, I believe, in the beginning. When I think of my, uh, the John Riches and the um, Charlie Dubins and the, uh, so many of the people in my generation came from New York and were from the theater and were so-called actors, directors. Over the years, I think what's happened is the producers of the shows became writers. You know, that is to say, the fellows who wrote all these shows were in such demand by the networks that those writers became the producers of the shows. And as that happened, they brought in the new directors, the younger directors, who were either first assistant directors, production managers. They were not the same crowd that came out of the New York theater or the New York television, the live television, I should say. They were more oriented in the film community and as film people so that the directors became more technical than they were oriented towards the actor, if that makes sense. And so I think now most of the directors in television who are clearly expert when you look at the shows and how well put together they are, are, I, I feel, people who work a lot with the cameras, but the actors are so good today in television, if you just look at the sitcoms or the dramas, I mean, they're, they're extraordinary, they're so good uh, that they can handle themselves without too much help from the directors. And it all goes so fast. You know, there is no rehearsal to speak of. Uh, I, you know, I remember in all my years, I'd come to the set in the morning, the first thing I did, I'd give the crew a setup, but I'd get my actors and we'd start, re you know, rehearsing off the set. And every time they were lighting, I was always rehearsing with my actors for the next scene. That doesn't seem to happen these days. You know, there's no rehearsal. They hire terrific actors. They learn their characters. They get good scripts. And they can just walk out on the set and they can shoot it and print it and it works. So was one thing or the other more important for you, the acting or the imagery? Yes. To me personally, you know, I come from the theater. I come from the actor's studio. My contribution to all the shows that we've been talking about, I feel, had to do with working closely with actors and getting the most and the best I could get from those actors. Now, I shot them as well as I could. You know, I, I don't think I was in any sense deficient in the technique of film. Uh, but mainly, mainly as I think of my work and my years, and as people know who have worked with me, I care about the actors.